It's been said that the best time to plant trees was seven years ago. We wanted the second best thing. We budgeted for it and went to get seven-year-old trees and planted them in the garden throughout. In this episode, we'll chronicle how we tackled the challenge of converting our backyard grass lawn into our personal National Geographic site and a food garden. We hope someday that it will resemble a food forest, eventually. When we started, we had the following question we wanted to tackle. How can we transform our grass lawn into a lush garden? We developed a landscaping plan using the property survey drawings. We laid out where the fruit tree orchard would be and where the vegetable raised beds would be. We did a lot of research, modified the plan some more, and then implemented once the picture was clear and we were good with the plan. It's a work in progress, but we did it, so you can do it too. We started with using cardboard as mulch to cover sections of the lawn and smother the grass in that area. We worked in a non-particular sequence. There were times when we felt it best to put the trees or plants in the ground first and sheet mulch afterwards, and there were places in the yard where we laid down cardboard first, put hardwood mulch down on top, and let the section sit. One of the other things we kept in mind for our garden was to select plants and trees that can survive the huge temperature variations from winter to summer on the US Gulf Coast. We set out to choose plants and trees that are cold hardy to low temperatures ranging between 20 and 25 degrees Fahrenheit. For reference, we used the list of trees and plants from the Native Plant Society of Texas Houston branch. We suggest doing some research to see if there are any publications for your region. Our side yard that used to be bare with grass lawn is now a fruit tree orchard. We have a loquat tree, a Meyer lemon tree, calamondin, persimmon, blood morrow orange, three in one apple tree, and a cocktail tree with different stone type fruits grafted onto one rootstock. According to Master Gardeners, newly planted fruit trees require thorough watering two to three times the first week and one to two times per week for the next few weeks, depending upon soil type, rainfall, and time of year. Then, apply water when the soil begins to get dry an inch or so down. Here are some of the things we wanted for our garden. We wanted it to be a place with biodiversity and habitat friendly for native wildlife. We decided that we wanted more than just a lawn. We wanted a garden that will attract birds, bees, and butterflies. A habitat garden combined with a fruit tree orchard and a vegetable garden. Check out these before pictures of the yard where the lawn was a sea of grass.
And don't forget, press like, subscribe, and the notification bell if you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching.